Hello, 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 and welcome to this edition of the Jolly Heretic. Now, we've all been wondering for quite a long time, what is the issue with our friend Keir Starmer, as represented by this lovely little stuffed toy that I bought in Amsterdam? I'll just, I'll just put that here. Uh, what is the issue with Keir Starmer? And um, why is it that he got so uptight and so angry and triggered by those riots, by the, those working class, manly blokes, some of them with their shirts off. Why was it that he was so upset? Uh, what is it about him? There's something he's hiding. There's something not quite right. There's something false. I've done a video on the parentalization. I've done a video on the entitlement and the narcissism as a way of dealing with his negative feelings. I've done a video on the way that he doesn't feel he can express emotion and there wasn't much room for expressing emotion in his house. But there's something he's holding back. And we finally, I think, realised what it is. And that is that uh, he is... Uh, he is as gay as a window, and as gay as a banana, as gay as a bicycle. And uh, I, I'm just going to lay out why I think that's so. Before that, could you please, please, please subscribe? Could you subscribe here? And could you subscribe on my Substack, thejollyheretic.com, where if you like what I do, you can uh, support me for the cost of a pint of beer a month. And where I put in-person interviews, I put full videos, I put uh, all my most base stuff I can't put on YouTube. Okay, back to the video. But please, please, please subscribe. Okay, so... It's, I think it's finally unravelling. I, I find it amazing, although it is, I suppose, Congress with, in, what, in my book, The Past and Future Country, The Coming Conservative Democratic Revolution, it's Congress with what I call the Rayner effect, which is that the left, the white left, are getting stupider and stupider and stupider because among white people, among the more intelligent white people, the big predictor of fertility is conservatism, the big predictor of stability is leftism, so therefore the, the right are getting stupider, but the left are getting stupider quickly, and I think the unravelling of this government and the fact that they thought they could get away with this kind of corruption, they thought they could get away, uh, and just brush off the scrutiny, uh, shows their amazing stupidity, uh, but it's finally coming out, uh, it seems that uh, Keir Starmer is gay, or at the very least bisexual, and has been having a relationship with this Lord Ali, who you may remember was the person whose house he had to stay in for six weeks because of his son's GCSEs, and so his son wasn't disturbed by journalists, despite there being a library down the road and whatever. Um, and so that's why they had to stay there, and that's why he had to be at Lord he had to be at Lord Ali's house for some reason uh, during the coup, uh, in order to to give a, a, a speech on TV, and he had to make the background look like it was his house when it wasn't, and none of it adds up. And Lord Ali, by the way, absolutely plays for the other team and is known to, um, and uh, is known in the area as the lady of the manor and so it seems quite clear what is going on he has been taking gifts as it, uh, gifts in kind i.e being able to stay in his big house from the man with whom he was having a relationship um it's obviously not true there's been speculation online by the way you have the spectator in the mail online talking about um star uh, ali's love affair with the labor party nudge nudge wink wink it's obvious what they are alluding to we have Katie Hopkins and uh, Simon Webb who's come out and asked the question, is he gay? Um, now, I mean, the, the excuse for having the house, for ha having the house as a gift of, of the value of £20,000 for the time he was staying in it, were, uh, because his son needed a place to revise his GCSEs away from the media during the election, is obviously a complete lie because uh, the time he was there is not congruent with the period of the GCSE examinations. He was there for about a month after the GCSEs finished, so he obviously didn't need to be there. So that's a complete lie. Um, this guy, when he was younger, he plays the flute, he plays the violin, he plays the piano, he plays the record. What's wrong with him? I mean, what kind of, what kind of red-blooded heterosexual man plays all those instruments like a girl? I mean, he was triggered, as I said, by those masculine Rotherham working class men with their shirts off. He took the knee during the during the race riots, the George Floyd riots. He goes on LGBT marches. And most damning of all, he didn't get married till he was 45. Now, there are normal people. I'm afraid. I mean, there are all kinds of reasons people don't get married. I should emphasize that. But in general, uh, normal people get married in about their late 20s. And uh, people that don't get married, there are normally reasons for this, such as very high mental instability, uh, such as being bloody ugly and short if they're a man, um, such as uh, uh, being psychopathic and you know, unwilling to commit to people, um, or such as being a gay. 
and it could be any of those, but uh, it would fit with the other uh, other factors that he probably felt it was better to not be a gay um, if he wanted to get along easily in politics. So he was repressing his sexuality, and I think that is why he has been so triggered. Um, I'm putting aside the fact that apparently he's raised his kids to be vegetarians, which is obviously very gay. Um, so, yeah... Um, I think this is unravelling now. He showed by, by insulting white working class people, he showed himself to be utterly politically incompetent. His chancellor uh, was perfectly happy to uh, accept massive amounts of gifts of free clothes and put it down as something that was, was unclear. She didn't put it down directly as basically frocks, which is what it was. Um, she put um, and and uh, the, the level of corruption is incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible. It's of a Lloyd George or Walpole level, and. Uh, this is accelerationism. I mean, this is just accelerating things, I think, I, I assume, towards a massive uh, right wing backlash or the, the, the break, breaking up of society into left and right, because I don't think people are going to tolerate this. Um, the prime minister, we, we, it's true. OK, yeah. OK, the, the, the Conservative Party delivered the first uh, non-white prime minister in the form of Benjamin Disraeli. They delivered the first woman prime minister in the form of Margaret Thatcher. Uh, they delivered the first Indian prime minister in the form of Rishi Sunak. But the uh, the Labour Party uh, seems, well, putting aside the Earl of Rosebery, we're not sure about him, but the Labour Party appear to have uh, delivered us the first, uh, the first, uh, yeah. Bye. Are you ready for the future of the West? <laughs>